I think it very much depends on whether the individual people within that company, that organisation, knows a disabled person in their private life, whether that's through a friend or a family member. Um, I don't think people consider the needs of disabled people enough. Um, and this is due to maybe lack of knowledge. And some people it's because they're just ignorant. Some people just don't know what, you know what to do with disabilities and some people will just shy away from it because it's too much for them to bear. People that have had experience of disability are kind of very clued up. But there are a lot of people that haven't had experience of, of being around people with disabilities. And I, I get the feeling that they want to be able to be really good and know what to say and not be patronising. And, it, you know, the willingness is there. It's just they kind of feel that they, they don't quite know how to approach the situation. I think the only instances where I've really felt that I'm being discriminated against has generally been in airports by airlines who have problems, I guess, accepting that you can be a wheelchair user and you can be fully independent. Ad International was founded originally 25 years ago as Action on Disability and Development. And it, uh, we work with disabled people in Africa and Asia. And we work with a group that actually is one of the most marginalised in the world. At least 10% of the population in any country is disabled. There are people in Africa and in Asia who really need a lot of our help, whether it be uh, deaf children that need sign language classes, children who are physically disabled and can't get to school but can be helped to be homeschooled, that disabled people being educated on their own human rights that they're not aware of. In some African countries, um, because they believe in black magic and voodoo, disabled people are seen as um, something negative, um, something that, um, something evil, some bad luck. So quite often disabled people are treated very badly because of it. I was born in Africa as a normal healthy child and when I was about two and a half years, I got struck down by polio, which was very devastating because the African people did not really understand what disability was. There's a lot of uh, stigma attached around disability. Uh, some people thought it was a curse from God. Some people thought it was witchcraft. And so my family was left with me, not knowing what to do. They didn't know whether to believe witchcraft or to believe that it was a curse from God, or just to believe that it was an illness, you know, a disease that had just struck me down. And it, it, was, it was difficult to grow around, you know, the community that did not really understand disability. I was really um, quite saddened to learn recently that if I was born with my same disability in, in Africa, the chance of me actually reaching the age I am it would be pretty much non-existent. The, um, a lot of people with spina bifida have to have a shunt for hydrocephalus and it's £150. And a lot of places, you know, hospitals in Africa won't actually even do that operation because the health costs of disabled people throughout their lives is that high, they feel it's, it, it, it's not worth it. I count myself very fortunate. I'm very lucky because my parents really supported me. And I remember even when I first went to school, it's contributions from organizations, charitable organizations abroad, organizations such as Ad International that were sending money to you know, African communities that were supporting people like me. So I know, you know I'm speaking from first-hand information, what organizations you know, such as Ad do to disabled people in Africa. Please, wherever you are, Get involved with Stamp and Swap. Log on, create a profile, donate your five pounds, say what you want to swap, have a browse, see what you want to have received in the swap, and have fun, and at the same time, raise money for charity. It's all to help Ad International to raise awareness for disability rights around the world.